it's better for today or is it an indefinite decision? Yeah, I'll make that decision, you know, later on. What did, well, Steve, what's the message you want to send to Jacob and to the rest of the team? You know, I think these are all learning experiences and, you know, when you deal with young adults all the time, they're capable of making bad decisions. He obviously did. I'm disappointed. I love him. But, um, you, you know, you got to make great decisions and uh, young adults sometimes don't. So we'll move forward. It'll be a good learning experience for us. And, how do you keep this? I mean, last year you had a similar, different situation, but you guys didn't win a game down the stretch. How do you kind of keep that from becoming a distraction for this team? Exactly. The best league in the country. We won a lot of games last year, most we've ever won in the Big Ten. So, I don't know. we got to be ready to play the next game. We play the third toughest schedule in the country, and we're one of the youngest teams in the country. So, this is the journey that we're on. It's another obstacle. And uh, we're picked 12th in the league, and uh, we're playing teams that are picked first, second, third, fourth coming up. So um, we'll be fine. Keep working, keep staying the course. We had a one possession game against the ninth ranked team in the country on the road who hasn't lost a home game. So we'll just keep plugging away. That's what we do. I fight through obstacles, and uh, I look forward to the next obstacle. When you're coaching young adults, you have a lot of obstacles. Steve, what did you think of Tez's defense on Cowan? You know, I thought Tez's defense has been really good the last few games, too. It's not just one. If you really watch the tape and dig into it, his defense has gotten really, you know, really good for us and it's helped us. He's always put on a real tough player, too. Cowan being one of the best players in the league, Wiggins, too, to guard him for stretches, and he's a dangerous scorer. Um, so, you know, I, I like Tez. I liked our defense tonight way better than Michigan game. And, uh, you got to continue playing like that because all the teams coming up can really score. Get two more. I see that Jamie Jameson made a big play from early. How hard is the game playing against someone like him to be somewhere? Yeah, I mean, now that he's shooting the ball, I mean, he came into you know conference. He's made, made 17 threes in 10 games. You know, he only made four in the whole nine conference. So when he's shooting the ball, he gives a whole other dimension to you know their offense. And he started the game out, and he hit a couple right off the bat. So um, you know he's. A really good player to begin with, then you add that in. He didn't have that last year. You know, score around the basket, and obviously he's an elite shot blocker. So, you know, when you ever have a rim protector like that, you know, what a valuable, you know, valuable player to have on your team. See, what can your team learn from this about closing out these games on the road? Yeah, I mean, I think our team can learn a lot. But I was proud we bounced back. We played a tough game the other day. No time to prepare. You know, with new obstacles, and, and you know, we fought. We fought. We'll, we'll, we're, we're young. It's on me at the end, so I take 100% responsibility. We got to make sure we get you know some good looks. I thought we had a couple, um, but we just got to keep plugging. This is our journey this year for uh, our team, and I love it. I love the journey. You guys want all the end results, and all the journey helps you get to the end results. So that's what I love about basketball, and that's what I look forward to. We'll be on that bus. We'll be studying for the next game. We'll be on the road recruiting tomorrow. The guys got an NCAA day off, and we'll be ready to go. And that's how we. That's how we do it. Thanks. All Thank right. you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.